Hello, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. This reading is for those of you in a third party or love triangle situation. This is a collective reading for Air Signs, and if you were to find it guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same Air Sign. Let's get your reading started. Spirits and Angels, please show me four Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Please give me some details, information, in regards to their third party or love triangle situation. I'm laughing because of the Seven of Swords. Four Pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Um, air signs. <laughs> the reason why I laugh was because of the Seven of Swords. And I just did the um, Earth Signs reading. So some of you, you could be dealing with an Earth sign. Right next to it is the Knight of Pentacles here in reverse, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. Um, and yeah, again, this card came out. In that reading, so hmm, so swords indicate somebody cheating, lying, sneaking around. Well, this is a third party love triangle reading, okay? And when I say somebody, that means it could be you, your person, or the third party. The sun here, the empress, and the ten of pentacles, okay? This energy for me feels like there, um, there is this energy where somebody eight of wands could be i think this person is going to communicate to you okay or you communicating with this person in regards of i know you're the one i'm very happy when i'm with you and the empress here i see living the rest of my life with you and then ten of pentacles is also a long-term connection so this is a very positive energy right because the sun the empress and this the strength here one two three feels like it is um it is a major arcana so and they're very positive right now at this moment but i'm also seeing the seven of swords not a pentacles here in my verse to be honest air signs i see somebody working very very hard with a ten of wands here working very very hard to try and be with somebody here okay because i'll try to change because number eight can indicate some sort of a change some sort of a shift so i see somebody here again it could be you your person or the third party but there is somebody here trying to make some big changes in regards to their behavior the lying cheating sneaky <laughs> sneaking around behavior from the Nine of Pentacles to, from the Nine of Pentacles in reverse to the Seven of Swords and the Strength here. I just get this person is going to try really, really hard, okay? Somebody is going to try really, really hard with the Strength here to deal with the situation very tactfully or to be very patient because they can see a future in this connection. Nine of Pentacles in reverse is not a very loyal Knight, right? Two of Pentacles and Robert's can indicate one person juggling two person at the same time, but eventually choosing one. So I see this scenario where somebody is going to choose somebody based on longevity, based on happiness, based on money, based on stability, children, or future children, okay? You know, the Ten of Pentacles indicates somebody who has a lot of money or the family has the money. Or if it's not that, it's just something that somebody aspires to build towards as some sort of um, stability, financial security, starting a family again. Um, I'm hearing pleasing the mother. I don't know this part. It's just for some of you. Someone may be making a choice to please the mother because that's the mother's favorite. That's the person that the mother likes 
or likes more because it does look like there is a choice between two person here right two of pentacles and of course this is a third party situation love triangle situation so there are two options here so i feel like someone is gonna make a choice and return or to choose somebody where either the family likes that person or that uh, the mom likes that person or that they can actually see a future with this person it could be because also again being with this person means being able to live a very luxurious lavish life if it's not that like a very happy life here with the sun and someone could be wanting to be with somebody because or choosing and ended up ending up choosing somebody because this person might be pregnant okay with their child i don't know this is just for some of you because the empress can indicate somebody whom is pregnant perpetually pregnant this is a perpetually pregnant energy some sort of a growth um and the son here there's a child either this person is going to return or to be with somebody or to choose with this person whom is pregnant or has already his or her children or her doesn't matter it <laughs> doesn't matter he or she's not gender specific and or because of money in within the family share properties that's what i'm getting here um the strength card here feels like somebody is going to be very patient um very patient because he or she can actually see this bright bright future being with this person so a choice is going to be made here as science a choice is going to be made between two and it's i feel like it's the choice is going to be that choosing that one person is going to make them really happy or choosing that one person because they see a future with this person based on money based on families approval or pregnancy okay all right i'm gonna pull out a few more cards i'm losing my voice a little bit i'm just gonna drink some water just give me a second okay <clears throat> sorry about that so four pentacles in reverse nine of wands in reverse and the seven of wands so yeah i definitely see somebody fighting for this connection somebody fighting for them wealth i don't know why i keep seeing wealth like something is connected i mean for everyone wealth is, is different for everyone for some people wealth means being really happy having it all um for some people wealth means a lot of money right mm. i see somebody defending their family defending defending um, this connection because they can see a very very good happy future yeah i mean the nine of wands here remember it's four pentacles and remember somebody may also um be giving some sort of ultimatum it feels a bit like an ultimatum lose that person let go of that person and then you can be with me. I don't know whether it's you, your person, or the third party. Again, it could go vice versa. So I definitely see somebody fighting for a connection here because they can um, see a happy future being with this person. It's not just about happiness, right? The sun and the ten of pentacles. It's about money, stability. Again, it's more than that. I see somebody making a choice to return. I see some convincing to do with the eight of wands. To return or to choose somebody there's a lot of convincing to do a lot of fighting fighting for this person um and justice here in reverse can indicate a divorce maybe a divorce maybe your person is or you again doesn't matter but somebody here could be divorced or could be talking about a divorce but doesn't want to get a divorce okay Let's see a little bit more here. There's something about money I keep getting. 
if there's a divorce, there could be a, a fight or arguments in regards to money, child support and whatnot. That is only if you do know that your person is married, was married, or it could be you, you could be married to this person, could be separated. But whatever the case is, air signs, the King of Cups here, some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, strong Leo here, the sun and the strength. The higher fighting reverse also can indicate a separation or a divorce, same as the justice, I mean similar as the justice in reverse. And five of swords is right here. So someone doesn't want to lose the money or the stability or children and would fight for a connection because of that. I hope that makes sense to you. And this is your reading, so I'm going to focus on you and the King of Cups here. It does feel like your person does love you, does have deep emotions for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, Air Science, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel, it's a travel vlog channel, check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel, it has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. But these readings, <clears throat> sorry I'm losing my voice, but these readings are still new because I post them almost every single day. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Take care, air signs. Bye.